In this video, Arduino-based RFID reader is demonstrated using the RC522 module. The reader is tested using different RFID tags. The RC522 RFID module is based on the IC MFRC522 reader writer, which is used for contactless communication running at a frequency of 13.56 MHz. It can be interfaced to a microcontroller using three different types of serial interfacing, namely SPI, I2C, and UART. And it is also compatible with well-known uh, contactless smart cards. Let's have a look at the pinouts of the module. Here we have VCC, which is at 3.3 volts, and ground. And these uh, pins here are defined based on what kind of serial interfacing, whether it's UART, I2C, or SPI. The heart of the module is the IC MFRC522. And this is a block diagram of this IC. The analog interface handles the modulation demodulation of the input analog signals. The contactless UART uh, uh, manages the communication protocols with the help of the microcontroller and the FIFO buffer ensures that we have a fa fast convenient uh, communication between the contactless UART and the microcontroller and this is the uh, serial interface uh, which is either UART, SPI, i square c bus with the microcontroller. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here we have the RFID module interfaced with the Arduino using SPI, where five digital pins are used. We also have two LEDs connected to two pins of the Arduino. The RFID tag here, when it comes in proximity with the module, if the ID of the tag is recognized, then the blue LED will turn on. If the ID is not recognized, then the red LED will turn on. A diagram of the RC522 SPI interface with the Arduino Nano is shown here. We have here the slave select is connected to D10. The clock serial clock is connected to D13. Master output slave input D11. Master input slave output D12. And the reset connected to D9. SPI lines, clock, MOSI and MISO must be connected to these digital pins of the Arduino because of the MFRC522 library used in the sketch, while the SDA line and the reset line can be connected to any available digital pin of the Arduino. A quick look at the C++ program used in this project. We need to include these uh, header files, one for the SPI and the other for the MFRC522 library. Here we declare an object MFRC522 where the uh, reset line is connected to pin uh, 9 of the Arduino and the uh, SDA line is connected to pin 10. Inside the setup function we initialize the SPI and the MFRC522 and within the loop function the first thing we do is to check whether we have a, a card available. If not, it will uh, loop back. And let's say there is a card available, then it will check whether the card is recognized by the MFRC522 controller. If it's not recognized, it will uh, loop back. And if it's recognized, it will continue with the program. When the MFRC522 recognizes the card, the next step is to extract the UID, the unique identification number of the card or tag. And this for loop is used to extract that uh, UID. And once it is extracted, it will be stored in this uh, string variable. The extracted UID is then compared with this stored UID. And if there's a match, then on the serial monitor we get uh, this message uh, access is authorized and the blue LED is turned on. Otherwise access will be denied and the red LED will turn on. And now for a quick demonstration. 
First, a tag is used with UID recognized by the RF ID reader. Next, a smart card is used with UID not recognized by the reader. In conclusion, the radio frequency identification system has a wide range of applications, especially in security-based applications. Thank you for watching.